We're at Newell High School visiting with Scott Wentz, the girls basketball coach. And Scott, uh, great time of year with a uh, new season starting up. I think it's good to get back to uh, maybe a little bit of normal stuff. It seems like it was a really long time since we played uh, some basketball. So we're just happy to be uh, getting the process started again and hopefully it keeps going. Kind of barely got your season in last year before COVID hit. Just barely, yeah. We got uh, beat in the Sodak 16 game. Uh, Falkton beat us, I think, by seven or nine at the very end. So we just got it in at the end and, and didn't have to deal with uh, not being able to play in the state tournament. We kind of felt bad for ourselves that we got beat out the week before. So we had a little bit, at least we had some closure to it, I guess. I've heard some coaches say that they didn't get closure last year because they didn't get the state tournament. So at least we got some closure and had some team ending stuff. So it wasn't a bad deal. Being real good last year, do you expect a good team this year? I would hope so, but you, you can't, if you're still expecting good things because you were good last year, sometimes that bites you in the butt. So. Um, we could be, but I think everybody else is going to be in the same boat we are. You're going to have to work very hard. I, I, we're noticing some stuff from the kids this year that we're trying to get them back into what we believe in. You know, they had, some of them had nine, six to nine months away from things, and we're trying to get them back into that mindset again. So I think hopefully everybody's dealing with the same kind of issues right now of, of uh, thinking the right way and becoming mentally ready for the season. Who are your seniors? I have three seniors this year, uh, Caden Steele, Lexa Bertsloff, and Cassidy Wheeldryer. Um, they've played uh, for me when I was their middle school coach as well, so we've kind of all grown up together. When I started coaching them, they were little sixth graders, and now they're ready to go out into the world. So hopefully uh, we've done a good job here and sent them on their way and uh, for them to be successful. We're going to miss them. They're good leaders. They understand what I want. They're smart basketball players. And, uh, and very good role models for our younger girls. Who are you going to rely on for scoring this year? You know, Caden Steele last year uh, led us with uh, 19 points a game. I believe Lexa had eight or nine points a game, and Cassie is around eight or nine as well. So it was very balanced last year. And we just have to find a couple uh, more starters. We lost a girl to graduation who's down at Shadron now, running, uh, running track for Shadron. And we had another starter, which would be another senior that moved away. So we are looking just for a couple fillers, uh, some role players right now, and uh, we'll go from there. Got some young girls coming up. We have uh, four freshmen, two sophomores, and, a, and one junior. So we're pretty young after our seniors, but a very good balanced group of girls. I'm pleased with how hard they work and understand uh, what we want from them. So. Um, they're going to have to step up and play basketball right away. We are explaining to them a little bit that um, if you get a varsity jersey, you're going to have to act like a varsity player. We can't use the we're young or we don't understand. Uh, once we move to that next level, we got to produce like the next level. When's your first game? First game is the 11th uh, in Harding County and then the 12th in Bison. So we got about another week of practice. And then we have those two games, then we play lead on the 15th of Tuesday after that. So we'll get a good test and we can evaluate where we're at, things that we need to work on, and uh, hopefully go into the Christmas break feeling good about ourselves. All right, Scott Wentz, we appreciate you taking time to visit with us about uh, Irrigators basketball. All right, thanks. Have a good day, guys.